Alright guys, we'll be continuing straight on from our last video. In our last video, as a recap, we found the effective width of the flange to be 400mm. Now we're going to do the same for our web. Now remember, our first step is to actually find out the slenderness yield limit, uh, but this time for the web. And to do that, we'll be looking back at the web. No, sorry, the table, 6.2.4. And this time we're going to be looking at the web, which is... Uh, where we have both edges supported for longitudinal and it's hot welded uh, because it's a welded beam and our yield yields and the limit is now 35 now to find our own place linearness uh, this is the formula for uh, something like an I beam right in general it is B on T and B in our case would be D1, which is the distance between the two flanges, so the clear distance between the other elements. We know that to be 960. Our thickness of our web is 16. This number you can actually find in the one steel tables uh, straight away. So you can see here, under this column, you can find out it's actually equal to 60. So if you were to punch uh, this number, 960 over 16, you'll find that it's also equal to 60. Uh, the reason I didn't use it straight away